Hey, yo, what's happening? It's Superfly. You logged on to 57thav.com. Real niggas blog. Check it out. Yes, bruh, I got that extra. Ordinary skin hustling game to bless ya. Wit get knocked down from every shot round. Lockdown, none of you clowns fucking with dog pound. Thanks to Crip. Whip niggas search and strip niggas. Curtains for bitch niggas. Hurt him a stick niggas. Cut him with the switch. Blade niggas is. Uh, it was cool. It was cool. That was my first shot. I was young. I was about 19, 19, 20. Uh kind of stumbled in the studio, you know, I wasn't trying to meet with him, uh, one of my homeboys, Lord G, he knew him, and, uh, they was working on the Butter Rim soundtrack, and, uh, you know, I kind of slipped in on him after work, you know what I mean, and, uh, they put me on blast, asked me to play something for him, he kind of liked it, he told me to come to the house the next day, you know, I was, I was in the Cutlass on my way to the house the next day, you know, we got me that, quit my job, and I was working for Dr. Dre, I was a keyboardist. Me and Daz got into it because I, I, I left that pro and he didn't want to leave at the time. So, uh, you know, we, we, we had our little differences at that period of time. Of course, we got together since then, but that was a kind of confusing time for us. You know, we didn't know which way we want we wanted to head. All I knew is I didn't want to be under that regime no more, and I wanted to get that off of me as soon as I could, so I just got up out of there. So that's why that album didn't take off, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's a little different, you know, I can't complain, music is music, and music always gonna, gonna change, you know what I mean, you gotta change with it. Uh, there is, there is a significant, I can say, uh, a lot of things sound the same, you know, uh, seems, seems to be a lot of kids is reaching, or a lot of these producers are reaching, you know, for really the same sound, instead of just doing what they love, you know, that's really the main difference I see right now, but it's all good. Three essential things, I need peace. I need peace. I need, uh, nowadays, I like to be pretty much by myself. I need peace, quiet. Uh, number two, I need weed. Uh, it's not a need, but it's, I'm used to that. And, you know, I can make a beat without it, but it always feels better when I'm smoking on some good kush. Uh, number three, I need uh, inspiration. That's probably the third thing I need. You know, I might hear an old song, I might get an idea, I might whistle a tune for a couple days and have a, a melody in my head and that'll be my inspiration to go ahead and make that beat. Yeah, I had to be my home base, Snoop, Daz, and Corrupt. They work the fastest to me, you know. Uh, it's just just being home. Everybody that, that has a camp can understand that, you know, when you start off, you just got your rich. Your regiment, if you go by, you start with this, you do that. You know, we got it down packed, it's just like a football team. Man, we know what we gotta do. Everybody play their part and it gets done pretty fast. Oh, my uh, my lovely homegirl, and I love her to death, but she knows she's a difficult one. Rage. <laughs> Rage with the Afro Puff. She, she's hard to work. She's not hard to work with, she's just hard on herself. And, uh, and, and that's the hardest part. I love to work with her all the time, but. You know, she likes to take her time. Right. I say number two is myself. I'm probably my second hardest artist to work with because, you know, I try to perfect everything I do and, you know, it doesn't get there all the time like I wanted to and I, I can't put it out until it's, you know, until it's up to my standards. Uh, Drake, Quincy Jones, Herbie Hancock, uh, Premier, uh, Quick, uh, Pete Rock, uh, Jazzy Jeff, uh, goes on and on. Pimp strutting got hoes by the boat load. I'm like Cortez for the two. Uh, came about through Damani. Uh, Damani knew luck. Uh, I knew Damani from a while back from a uh, next episode video. I've been, you know, fucking with him for a while. And, uh, uh, you know, he started, he started fucking with luck. I didn't know too much about it, you know, they hadn't put a group together, then uh, Luck had came with a song that I had loved, fell in love with, you know, after a while, getting to know them, both of them together, I wanted to be a part of that, you know what I mean, so I felt that, you know, with my music ability, you know, kind of being in the game a little bit longer, I can bring something to the table, you know, as along with their youthfulness and, you know, hungriness, and it worked out real good.
uh, anybody who's trying to do something that, that, that's better than themselves, I'm with that. You know, he's just like any new producer. He needs work, uh, but he has the ear and he knows what he wants. You know what I mean? As being a rapper and just being in music his whole life, he knows what he wants to hear. My job as a friend to him is to show him and teach him, you know, different little tricks on how to get the sound that he wants. You know what I mean? Can't nobody pick your brain better than you. You know what I mean? So that's what he's on right now, and I'm 100% with him. Uh, uh, some of his production is better than others, but believe me, within time, all of it's going to be up to par. Right. I don't see him far behind many producers that's out today, really. We the, we the epitome of gangster rap. Everybody in the world wants to be bottom line of gangster rap. You know, whether it's selling dope or beating a nigga up or carrying your gun or whatever. And I think just the whole thing has just got played out, you know, as far as a West, Point, a West Coast uh, standpoint. You know what I mean? We, we just got played out with that. And I don't know what the next sound is going to be, but I know that it's not going to be six folds and all riders, you know, just that usual sound as we hear something that might be a gunshot. But hey, we keep it going, you know what I mean? I don't know what the next sound is going to be. I don't know really what it's going to take. I do know that it's going to take unity. Now, I don't know how to get all these niggas together, but I'm doing my part, you know what I mean? And once everybody start getting the mind state where I have, as far as I'm not going to make it by myself, but we can all make some money together, then maybe we can start to have a groundwork and, you know, maybe get back there. We got to go back to selling records out the trunk. Internet game fucked us up, you know what I mean? We got to go all the way back independent. These niggas saying they're independent, that's not independent no more. We got to go all the way back to the Master P independent. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And I'm talking about West Coast niggas. Now, if y'all making money out there elsewhere, keep doing what you do. Thumbs up. But niggas out here better go back to the hardwood floor and get there and grind and go get that paper. Stop being spoiled. Stop being spoiled. Uh, Nate's doing good. Uh, I just tell everybody, just keep keep him in your prayers. You know, he, he's a strong-hearted, strong-minded person, and he's doing real good. Laugh. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> right. You know, but then again, you know, then I thought, man, that is the death of the West Coast. That's, that's really what I thought, man. I, you know, I, it, it, the whole thing could have went so many other different ways. And, and, and I was only looking for one other way for it to go. That was for all of us to get together. You know, and this is, that's just the epitome of somebody. You know, trying to be a bully, and, and, and these, this younger generation ain't really giving a fuck about that, man. And, and they, you know, it's just like how we was when we was young. Our motto was, niggas don't give a fuck. And so you times that by, by four or five, and you get this younger generation that really don't give a fuck. You know, so the best thing to do is get behind these young kids and help them, you know what I mean? And help them know the right way, because, man, they, they'll look over you, and they will beat your old ass. Stick to your game and stop, 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 stop worrying about what the other man's sound is and do what's in here. Do what's in here. Uh, uh, a producer, or any fellow producer, loves a, another producer that comes with something different. You know, it might not be what we hear on the radio, but as long as it's different, man, stick to it. All right. Everybody's aim as a producer is to be, is to change sound. That's my aim. Change the sound that's out there right now. Everybody else should be thinking the same thing. Let's change the sound. Let's keep it going. Let's go another way with it. Uh, working on my third album. Don't know what it's called yet, but I'm trying to get it underway. Uh, working on my second W record. I'm trying to get that underway. And I want to work on, I'm trying to do a super flop because a dog pound. I want to take time with them and try to see if we can come and, you know, devise a way to get this old sound back and, you know, take our time with it. West Coast for Live, Superfly Dog Pound Gangsta. I'm out.